What's up guys, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today is all about playing and having fun, learning the most beautiful yet simple minor chord progression. The goal is to draw a roadmap that shows you all the steps that you can take to make your minor chord progressions more colorful. Of course, in this video, we will take a look at the most simple minor chord progression in the key of A minor. The A minor chord, D minor, and E major. So what is the first step that we should take to create the most beautiful sounding minor chord progression? Well, first things first, it doesn't matter how good you are right now, we all start with the same basic chords. So always take a moment to analyze the basic chords that you can play. In this case, we have the A minor chord, which is the chord one of the A minor key. The D minor chord, which is the chord four. And the E minor chord, which is the chord five. Now, I like the E minor a lot, but it sounds a little weak. So we're gonna change the E minor into an E major chord which will make the minor chord progression even more dramatic. So we have A minor, D minor, E major, and A minor. Now at the beginning guys, don't bother too much about the right hand, just simply strum the chords. I already know what you're thinking. Come on, man, just give us the good stuff. Well, the thing is, even the most simple strumming pattern deserves all your heart and soul. So make sure that you strum with meaning. Control and diversify your strumming pattern. Even with the most simple strumming pattern, you can still add a lot of color to the chord progression by simply changing one finger. Now, you don't have to understand the music theory behind this change. You can keep it as mechanical as possible. So just put down the A minor chord and decide to remove one finger. For example, the first finger. Or maybe you can add the fourth finger on the same string. It's all about trying different things. So you could end up playing something like this. Now strumming is great, but finger style is even better. And there's always this moment when you see this guitar player plucking the strings with the fingers for the very first time, and you think, what is going on? With the finger style, we pluck the strings with the fingers. And so we can instantly change our playing because now we have much more control on each single string. Of course, you know, you can start simple. Of course, guys, once we are introduced to the finger style technique, the chances are that we also start listening to more classical music. Of course, listening to all this classical music, maybe played on a classical guitar, is going to influence the way you play chords. So for example, a minor chord progression would sound more classical if we played like this. Of course, guys, if you get too much into classical music, you can also learn something called broken 
chords, which are basically chords broken down into single notes. You can hear a lot of these uh, broken chords, this way of playing into jazz music, but of course, for a minor chord progression such as this one, playing broken chords in a classical way makes these chords absolutely beautiful. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention the notes that we actually play in these broken chords. So for the A minor chord, we're gonna play the note A, C, the minor third, and E, the perfect fifth. And then we repeat the same notes on different octaves. The same thing for the D minor. We have the root note D, the minor third, F, and the perfect fifth, A. And then we repeat the same notes. E major, we have E, the root note, G sharp, the major third, and B, the fifth. Just like that. Now eventually you get fed up with classical music, you know, all this technique and craziness, right? So you go back playing chords. Now the good thing is that, you know, playing all these arpeggios and classical stuff made your playing much better. So you can add new chords into your playing. The seventh chord are usually the next step after playing the basic chords because they are still kind of quite similar to the basic chords, but they sound much better. They sound different. You can use them in folk music, as well as jazz music and Latin music. So we go from playing A minor to playing A minor seven, a D minor to a D minor seven, and the E major to an E seven. Of course, there are a lot of different ways. And because these chords sound quite Latin, you can also add a nice Latin rhythm to the chord progression. chord progression sounds completely different now, in a completely different style. Of course, I did something else. I added more chords. In fact, at some point, I was playing... So which chords did I add? Well, the first one was the secondary dominant chord, which you can add every time you have the chord one going to the chord four. In this case, the A minor seven going to the D minor seven. All you have to do, you have to transform the A minor chord, the chord one, into an A dominant seven chord. So the A seven chord, and then resolve to the D minor 7 chord, which is the chord 4. Now, technically, we have A minor 7, which is chord 1. When we change this chord into an A7 chord, this one becomes a secondary dominant chord. So it becomes the chord 5 of the D minor key. So it's basically an, a smooth and simple modulation we quickly modulate to the D minor chord. Then I played... This is another chord that I added, is the B minor 7 flat 5, or B half diminished chord, is the second degree of the A minor key, the chord 2. 
and it's a subdominant chord so it works beautifully before the dominant chord which is the five and then back to the A minor seven beautiful changes that you can use to any minor chord progression. Of course guys, once we understand all these beautiful chords and we develop a better technique, we can finally leave the comfort zone, you know, the first three frets. We can just move out of this position and this is when things can really open up for us because we can now play the same chord progression in different positions, like this. can also make it more jazzy. And of course guys, once we understand jazz chords, we can really add so much color to our chord progressions. And we don't have to become jazz players. We don't have to play jazz to add more color to these minor chord progressions. For example, guys, practice more colorful chords without tempo, without the beat. Just take your time between uh, the chords. 